Hi everyone and welcome back to another video of Kiwi Investments. This is the third video of me investing $58,500 into various stock markets to see how well they perform. In the last two videos you saw me investing $7,000 into the New Zealand stock market and $9,000 into the Hong Kong stock market. So far they are doing well. Let's see if I can keep that going. In this video I will show you my current stake portfolio, talk about why I made some of those investments and then invest an additional $2,500 New Zealand dollars which is about one 1700 US dollars. In the next video, I will show you my portfolio in my hedge account and invest an additional 40,000 New Zealand dollars, which is about 28,500 US dollars. All right, let's get straight into this. As you can see, I deposited 2,500 New Zealand dollars and I got about 1,700 US dollars. This video is filmed well over two months, so we're going to see how much money I made or lost from this investment. My current portfolio value is about 2,995 US dollars. It was around 3,000 but today it seems to be a bear market meaning that the stock prices are coming down today but as a long-term investor i don't really care about that i don't care about the day-to-day -day movements i care about the overall movements in about a few years so let's start off by having a look at my current portfolio to see which stocks are doing well and which stocks are losing me money and as we have a look the prices will keep changing because the stock market is open right now all right starting from apple and moving down you will see that the companies in my stake portfolio are doing really well Let's start off with Apple. Apple is up nearly 20%. It's down 0.09% today. But overall, Apple has been up almost 20% in total change. But that equals to $17.70 gained. Next up is Adobe. I have 0.97 shares in Adobe. It's gone down by $1.88 today. But overall, I'm up $200, which is 45.92%. Next up is AMD. Up by 77 0.3% which means I got $36.33 if I were to sell it now but I'm going to keep holding on to it and next up Beyond Meat is down but only by a little bit which is 6.8% I think Beyond Meat has potential and if you have been following my channel for a while you would have seen the video I did about farming and how normal traditional farming hasn't evolved with the growing population and we just don't have enough farmland to feed the growing population so companies like Beyond Meat are needed for the future and also more and more people are choosing to be vegan which goes well with beyond meat's products so why is the stock price down if it's such a good company well they recently announced that the company is reducing its third quarter net revenues outlook due to the effects of the pandemic being bigger than anticipated i find that a bit concerning seeing how far we are into this pandemic if they announced this in 2020 that would have been fine but they are announcing this towards the end of 2021 that kind of indicates to me that the company might have bad management also another concerning point is that they keep issuing new shares without increasing their net profits or announcing new innovative ideas. When you issue new shares like this, it's going to dilute the share price of the company. Other than that, just like with most new companies, scaling their products comes with many challenges, which I believe Beyond Meat is currently struggling to overcome. But I do think the hype for this company is dying out as more and more plant-based companies are starting to come out. And the fundamentals of this company is starting to become questionable. Anyways, moving down, Chewy. Chewy is up by 80%, which means I got $120 from this stock alone. This is a quick look at their website. As you can see, it is an online retailer for pet food and other pet related products, which is a business I believe will not go away anytime soon. Their numbers are looking good too. So if you look at their latest quarterly results, they have 20 million active customers, which is a 21% increase year over year. And these customers bought in about $2 billion worth of sales, which is a 26% increase year over year. Their net profit is still at a loss. Most companies do operate at a net loss, but Chewy has increased their net profit by 49% year over year, which is good. If you want to know how to read these numbers down here more in depth and get a better understanding of the company, then check out this video in my channel, which explains everything very simply i will leave a link to that video in the description but for now let's keep moving down my stake portfolio next up we have colgate i'm not gonna go into all the companies because i have about 21 companies in my stake portfolio but colgate is up 6.63 percent and then svs health is up 25 percent but these companies are all going down today but i'm not worried about that moving down Fortnite, which is a cyber security company has given me a return of 122 percent which is crazy but because i only 
invested a small amount it means that i'm up 24 dollars and 44 cents and that stock seems to be going up today as well next up is a gold etf with the ticker symbol gld um that has not been doing well for me but it's only down by five percent next up i have google again and that's of course up 80 percent which means i'm up eight dollars <laughs> But you will see in my next video coming up, I have a much larger investment on Google. This is just that I had some extra cash laying around and I wanted to put that into Google as well. If you go show old holdings, you may also notice that I have invested in a lot of companies but only small amounts. And that's because stake allows me to invest small amounts without any transaction fees. So I can buy multiple different companies and put in little bits at a time. So that's why I use stake in this way. Now, I bought into Whole Mail, which is a food company because I I thought you know people gotta eat but that's going down as well lqd is a bond etf i don't mind holding that um, ndb is up 66 percent which i'm annoyed at because i had a bigger holding on this but i sold it because it wasn't going anywhere i should have just stuck to my gut and hold it but nonetheless i'm still up 66 percent microsoft is up 47 percent nvidia is up 113 percent which is amazing and petsmints is an online pet pharmacy i thought it would do great because of the pandemic but for me this investment is down by 13.2 percent which is sad like the picture of the dog they use in their latest financial statement moving on square is up a hundred percent giving me a return of 68 dollars and tesla is just crazy it's up 142 percent um i know other people have a position in tesla which is much higher i was one of those people that invested in tesla very early on but then sold it thinking it was too high but of course i was wrong so i came back in and i'm still gaining over a hundred percent return on it which is crazy taiwan semiconductor manufacturing company is up 33 percent giving me a return of 67 dollars and five cents tyson another food company is probably the only food company that i have which is going up has gone up 29 percent then i have another bond etf which is the vanguard total corporate bond etf and that has given me a return of 5.17 percent so in total my portfolio value is 2994 it has gone down 16 dollars and 64 cents today but my total overall return is 938 dollars and 49 cents which is a return of 45.65 percent so adding all this up i have gotten a return of 938 dollars i'm gonna add three more new companies into this portfolio right now i'm gonna invest in companies that make profit from something that we are all promised from the moment we are born everyone is guaranteed this regardless if you want it or not and i'm talking about death sorry if this video took a dark turn so here's a video of a grim reaper to lighten the mood while i talk about why i'm making these investments if you look at funeral service companies strictly from a business point of view it is a good business to be in it's not like people will all of a sudden stop dying and stop needing the service so you don't have to worry about that the business will always be needed mortality is a subject that most people find uncomfortable but for this video we are only discussing it from a business point of view people do want their loved ones to have a proper service now i've looked around for a while to find an etf which will give me exposure to a lot of different funeral service companies but right now at the time of making this video there are no funeral service etfs and that's why i'm going to buy three companies all related to funeral services so i kind of making my own little etf so if one funeral service company doesn't do well i'm hoping the other ones will make up for it and that's kind of how etfs works anyways if you come back up and click on the markets tab you will see that today is a very bear market all three major indexes are coming down but like i said that doesn't matter to me because i'm a long-term investor i don't really care about what the prices are doing today so to search for a company click this search button and then search for the company that you are looking for so mine is sci which is service corporation international click on that service corporation international is not america's largest provider of funeral and cemetery services the company was founded in 1962 so the company has a lot of experience they currently own and operate more than 1900 funeral homes and cemeteries if you come back to stake you can see that the share price is coming down as well which i don't really care about you have a little above section to read about the company if you want analyst thinks it's a strong buy as well but i don't really care about what analysts say and then we have an earnings table but to be honest 
honest, this graph on steak is not my favorite. First of all, it shows EBITDA, which I have explained how useless their figure is in a previous video. And when you look at a graph in this way, you might think that their earnings is all over the place and doesn't have a stable growth, but there actually is a growth and you have to look a little more carefully to spot it on steak. So if you have a look at the third quarter in 2019 compared to the third quarter in 2020, there was a growth. Fourth quarter compared to fourth quarter, there was a growth. First quarter in 2020 compared to the first quarter in 2021, there was a growth. Second quarter is the same. So there is a stable growth in the company, but if you briefly look at it in this way, you might think otherwise. They also show the earnings per share, which I think they do well. And they also have some figures from the balance sheet. Steak also has a little section down here which shows that 111 people are watching this. It has been traded 67 times. 217 people have seen it. Don't let this part influence your investing decisions. First of all, I don't know how accurate it is and I don't want things such as fear of missing out to influence people's investing decisions. So just be mindful of that when you're looking at this. If you come down, it shows you the latest news related to the company. There are some good titles. Don't ignore the fact that Insider just sold some shares in service corporation international an underappreciated performer in the dead care industry and then we have another article that says there was a sale of 72800 shares of this company so if you want to read it just click on it it'll take you to that news article and you can have a read about that but i'm happy with my decision so what i'm going to do is come back up i'm going to go buy i'm going to go market buy i'm going to put a dollar amount of 400 review so the estimated shares that I will get is 6.42, zero dollars brokerage fee and just go buy. Your order has been executed. Now the second final company that I'm going to buy is Matthews International and the checker symbol for that is M-A-T-W. There we go. Now Matthews International Corporation is not just a funeral service company. It has three main segments. There's the branding solution segment, memorial and funeral service segment, and industrial technology segment. The SGK brand solution segment is the leading provider of global packaging solution and brand experiences. So they try to make the marketing simple while trying to amplify brands of companies. What you see on screen is a little example of this. And they have built relationship with many large well-known companies. So you know they are doing something right. Matthews memorialization segment provides memorials, caskets, and cremation and incineration equipments. Here's an interesting trend which you may have not known about. Sales of cremation products have been going up for Matthews because there's a trend to have your loved ones cremated rather than buried. I looked into this because it's good to look into trends before making an investment. It turns out there's a number of reasons for this trend. Cost was stated to be a driving factor. And apart from cost, another reason was that people are more mobile these days. People move around a lot, they move cities and countries, and they want to take their deceased loved ones with them. Another trend is, well, I would say creativity, because it sounds like people are getting very creative with the ashes. People have reported to mix the ashes with ink to get tattoos. People have mixed the ashes with seeds to grow plants to keep with them in their houses. And another trend is that people are smoking it. They mix the ashes with cannabis, and off you go. Again, strictly looking at it from a business point of view, whatever the reason for this trend might be, I wanted to make sure I get some exposure to the cremation industry. Moving on to Matthews Industrial Technology segment. I am happy to see that they design, manufacture and distribute automation technologies and solutions which you would commonly see in big warehouses. I think this will continue to be in demand as businesses want to automate processes, increase efficiency and profit, not to mention how busy warehouses are these days with the increase in online shopping. So that's a brief look into Matthews International. If we come back to stake and look down, you get the same information as I mentioned previously. So I'm going to come back up. I'm happy to buy, so I'm going to go buy. And yes, I am aware that the share price is coming down today. But like I said many times before on this channel, I don't really care about the day-to-day -day price changes. I don't want to stay at graphs for hours thinking when it would come back up. And our order has been executed. The third company I'm going to buy in the funeral service is Helen Brand. The ticker symbol is HI, as in high. There we go. And just like Matthews, Helen Brand is not just a funeral service company. It's a big organization that would take a whole nother video to explain what they do. But this slide here gives a good brief look into what they do. They have a funeral service segments which manufacture burial caskets, cremation caskets and urns. They also have a molding technology solution segment for businesses such as Honda, Toyota and BMW. So they help these car companies to increase the use of lightweight plastics to improve fuel efficiency. They also have relationships with Samsung, Apple, Microsoft, Johnson & Johnson, 3M, Dyson, Bose, 
and Fitbit just to name a few. Helen Brand also have an advanced process solution segment which has relationship with blue chip companies such as Nestle and Blue Diamond to help improve food shelf life, freshness and safety and relationships with companies such as Pfizer to focus on safety, improve drug and therapy delivery, durability and disposability. And that's just some of the relationships I have time to explain in this video. Let's come back to steak and I'm gonna buy $400 worth of shares as well. Go buy, confirm buy send in and done if you come look at the portfolio we have an hour to go in the stock market and let's have a look matthews is going up actually i'm actually surprised at that and helen brand has gone up one cent and service corporation has gone down 0.08 percent which is 31 cents lower i'm all right with that if we come back to the top the next company i'm going to put my money on is carriage services the ticker symbol for that is csv there we go carriage services you can just type the name if you want carriage services was founded in 1991 and now has over 230 funeral homes and cemeteries in the us for this company i'm only going to invest 250 dollars because the business is not as diverse as the others i have mentioned and also the company makes majority of his revenue from funeral homes which is the opposite to the trend we talked about earlier in this video another point is that most of the growth i see from carriage services is a result from aggressive acquisition growth is hard for funeral companies i do not consider funeral companies as growth companies for example a company like apple can get people excited by inventing new phones laptops earpods and speakers or even cars to increase their profits Funeral companies cannot do that. It's not like they can go out and kill people to increase their profits. If they do, then that would just be wrong and bad. There should be a new word for something that's wrong and bad. Like badong. Yes, killing is badong. From this moment, I will stand for the opposite of killing. Gnadab. Anyways, yes, that's why majority of the companies I talked about in this video are doing a lot of other stuff to grow their business. I have $312 left and let's now move on from investing in that and into more pleasant and more exciting companies, I guess. And what I think I might do is put 100 into Tesla. It's coming down, so I think I might be getting a good price. I'm not too sure. I'm not the best expert when it comes to the Tesla share price. It's been doing crazy things and that's just because of the hype. And a hype is something that moves the stock price. So I'm happy with that. I'm going to go 100. Oh, it's been executed. And the remaining $212, I might put it on MongoDB Incorporation. MongoDB is a database software company. To understand what sets it apart from other database companies, we need to understand the database industry and the difference between relational database and non-relational database. I'm not going to go into too much detail about that here. But very briefly, MongoDB is the most popular document-based non-relational database in the market. It has built a very good name within the developer community and the popularity keeps growing because of the advantages mongodb brings users don't need to worry about changing the database structure on the back end to record new data or data depending on where you're watching this video from and because of the document structure it makes it easier for users to scale the database to multiple servers or multiple computers another advantage of this is because all the information is stored in a single document it will be a lot faster providing whatever the request the application is doing for the end user these and also other advantages that MongoDB has. A lot of applications are turning to MongoDB as they are being onboarded onto the cloud or if new applications are being made on cloud already. Let's come back to stake. When it comes to analyst rating, 75% says buy while 25% says hold. And if you look at the earnings, the earnings have been steadily coming up. I'm going to go buy market and I'm going to put the remaining $212. So there we go, we have just bought six companies and we have invested more than a thousand US dollars. And as you can see, my equity value has gone up to 4,759 and that's because of the six companies that we bought. Some of the companies that I have bought is already on its way up, which is good. And some companies are not, which is all right. I don't really mind, but overall seems to be coming up, even in a bad market. So it's been a few seconds for you watching but it's actually been three months for me. So you saw me buying into these companies on the 27th of August. Today is now the 28th of November. So it's actually been three months. 
Over here it says the transactions are executed on the 26th of August and that's because the time in New Zealand is one day ahead of America. And we got some bad news. About 13 hours ago, there was a new concerning variant of the virus announced named Omicron. This news has caused all the stock markets in the world to go down. So if you come and have a look at my portfolio, it is currently around 5,000 US dollars. But today because of the news, it has gone down by $100. If you come down and have a look at the stocks, you can see that most of them are in red and that's because of the news of Omicron. But let's have a look at how the stocks that I did are doing. First of all, let's start with MDB. And we bought 0.54 shares at $392.19. The current share price now is $518.61. So that's a total dollar value return of $68.34 from this investment. Let's put that into a little running total box on the bottom left side of the screen to see how much we end up with. So if you come and have a look at my portfolio, my new return combined with the old return that I had before is around 48% which is $128 so that was a really good investment for me. The next one we bought was Tesla. I bought 0.14 shares at $704.38. The current share price now is $1,081.92 so that's a total return of $53.59. If we add that into our total return box we are currently sitting at a return of $121.93. Off to a good start so far. For me combined with the investment I had with Tesla before, my new return is 180%, which is a $432 return. So that's been a good investment for me as well. Next up, we bought CSV. We bought it at around $44.82. This was a new investment for me. So if you come back to my portfolio and find CSV, it has given me a return of 18%, which is $45.35 we can add into our running total. And the next thing we bought was HI. We bought it around $44.92. That was a new investment for me as well. So if you come back to the portfolio, it has given me a return of 3%, which is $12.03 return. Let's add that into our dollar value that's going around in the bottom left corner. If you have a look at the share price history of Helen Brand, it's been quite interesting. So if you find 27th of August, it went down as soon as I bought it. It went down about 11%. And the highest point it has been up to was about 8%. Next up, we bought Matthews. We bought it around $34. Matthews had an interesting journey as well. So if you have a look at the graph and find 27th of August, it dipped after I bought it. It went down about 10% and the highest point it went up to was 10% as well. If you come back and have a look at my portfolio, my investment into Matthews is currently showing a return of 2.36%, which is $9.45. And the last company we bought was Service Corporation International, SCI. We bought it at $62.32. If you have a look at the share price history for that, it has been a much more smoother ride than the others. If you come and have a look at my portfolio and find SCI, it has given me a return of 8.9%, which is a dollar value of $35.70. So if we add that into our total box, we get a final dollar value return of $224.46 from our investment of $1,762. That's 12.74% increase in just 3 months. Let's see if I can beat that in my next video where I will be investing $28,500 into the US stock market. If you want to sign up to Stake and start investing, use the first link in the description. If you use that link, Stake will give you one free stock. And now, here's a message from our sponsor. What in God's name is that thing? Does it have a name? Tungy. I should not have asked.